Hello, everyone. I'm going to give everyone some time to filter in before we get started. Feel free in the chat to tell us where you're tuning in from. We always love to see where everyone's um, watching us from. See, it's always interesting. <laughs> I have appeared again twice. Hmm. Yes, yeah, I'm from Vermont, Canada, Florida, Ohio. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna give everyone just another minute or so to get settled before we get started. All right. Thanks so much for everyone for Nishnet. I'm the marketing manager here at ACHS. I'm going to be working behind the scenes today with our other marketing um, content specialist, Catherine, in the background. So if you have any technical issues during the presentation, feel free to reach out to us in the chat box and we'll be happy to help. Um, so today we're launching our brand new micro credential, the Wellness Business Operations Specialist. We're very excited. Joining us today are Dean of Ed General Education, Dr. Lori Foldren, Assistant Pref Professor Jimmy Goddard, and ACHS President Tracy Abel. Our speakers are here just to talk about the program and give an overview of what you can expect to learn in the program. So um, just, just a couple housekeeping items before we get started. You may have noticed that your line has been muted. We are recording today's webinar. so. This helps just ensure excellent sound quality for everyone who's viewing the recording. And if you have any questions during the presentation, like I said, don't be shy, put them in the chat box. We love hearing from you and um, always try to save a little time at the end to answer any questions you have in a live Q&A. Um, one thing to note about the chat box, so we wanna make sure everyone can see each other's questions. There is a little drop down that determines when you send your, who you're sending your chat to. So one option says host panelists and the other is everyone. So just make sure to select everyone so that the entire audience can see your chat. And so without further ado, I'm gonna hand it off to Tracy to get us started. Well, thank you so much, Gina, and welcome to everyone. I'm Tracy Abel, president here at ACHS, and I'm really excited to be here to welcome you to this webinar and to introduce you to this new micro-credential, which has been a collaborative effort uh, across our institution and also been working with students and graduates to really understand the areas that you are most interested in as it relates to starting your own business or working to help manage another wellness business, um, which is certainly a growing field. Uh, before we get started, I wanna just share with you a little bit more about ACHS. Um, ACHS was founded in 1978 and uh, we specialize of course in online education and we have always been distance education. Um, of course, back in 1978, that was by mail. We are also a certified B Corporation, and that means that we prioritize people and the planet in our operations here at ACHS. Um, some of you may have seen, if you're a student or graduate, that uh, we're actually participating in the Earth Month Eco Challenge this month. And it's those types of activities that really inform everything we do here at ACHS. Our values around sustainability in operations and environmental stewardship are woven throughout this new micro-credential. And our goal is to provide students in this program with not just the essentials for running a wellness business, but also to cultivate these values across other organizations. In addition to this micro-credential, we offer a wide range of other micro-credentials and professional development courses that are available to our ACHS community and also our broader community. 
And then we offer certificate, diploma, and degree programs from an associate's to a doctorate degree, all specializing in the area of integrative health and wellness, aromatherapy, herbal medicine, holistic nutrition, and core health sciences from a holistic perspective. In our curriculum, students do learn the fundamentals of creating a business plan for those who may wanna have their own business. And they learn about goal setting, thinking about how they're gonna go out into the community and apply their knowledge. We frequently get a variety of different questions from current students and from graduates who want to explore other types of businesses. And so in this micro-credential, our goal has been to really create a foundation for all of you, considering uh, finances. Where do you even start in funding a business or helping an existing business grow? Um, uh, how do you manage people? If you are a new business or you're coming into a smaller business, how do you help that organization grow and, and really cultivate engagement and uh, professional development among employees? Um, experts across the ACHS community from our own CFO, our own HR manager, uh, our faculty, and a variety of other experts have contributed to this six course of micro-credential. So you're going to hear very diverse perspectives. And you'll also hear the stories of graduates and the variety of businesses that they have started and some of the things that contributed to their success. Um, our mission as an institution is to lead the advancement of evidence-based integrative health and wellness education and particularly through experiential online learning and a commitment to sustainable practices. So we're very excited to unveil this new micro-credential to you. And I'm now gonna turn it over to our two panelists, our presenters, Dr. Lori Holdren and uh, Dr. Jimmy Goddard. So Lori, take it away. Thank you. I'm so excited about this micro-credential that we've been working on, and I want to share with you today all about it. Uh, Jimmy will be here shortly. He's having some connection issues, but that will get resolved. So reasons to start a wellness business. We're going to be talking about that today, and, and it's very exciting in the wellness industry because it has been growing. I'm going to show you some data about that. Then we're going to introduce you to all the components of our new ACHS Wellness Business Operations Specialist micro-credential. So we're going to have an overview of all the courses that will be released. We're releasing them one at a time, and we'll be sharing what's in the first course today. We'll talk about the skills that you're going to develop if you go through the micro-credential, who's a good candidate to take it, the benefits, and how you get started. The first course is called Creating Your Business Model. Um, and we'll be talking about that in more detail very soon. I did want to share with you about a report that is from the global wellness economy. And I'm going to put that in the chat so you can have a link to the actual report. Um, it was released and based on data through 2022. Um, and it showed that there's a growth in a lot of areas related to holistic health and wellness you can see here in this uh, table here, this uh, diagram, that um, right in the center here, we have healthy eating, nutrition, and weight loss. A lot of our students are in our nutrition program, and having a business as they graduate is something that they're going to go into. We have our traditional and complementary medicine over here. We have some other information, so we get this to turn here, on this next slide which shows you about the growth in the global wellness um, that's gonna happen over the next several years into the next decade here. It has been growing steadily here since 2020, and it's projected to grow from where it's at now at 5.61 billion all the way up through 8.47. So that is a 8.6% annual growth. That growth rate is actually larger than the average growth rate in the economy which is over here um, at 5.1%. So if you are in this wellness industry, and probably you are since you are here at our, our webinar, you are in a great place to be moving forward with your businesses as you graduate. And if you have a business already, expanding it as we go into the next 10 years. 
our wellness business opportunities that are out there. You might be doing nutritional counseling, health coaching practices, natural product development. You might do retail and online product sales. A lot of our students will post in our, our chat. Uh, in our Facebook chat that they're doing that sort of thing. You might open a spa or wellness center. You might have an apothecary shop. There's a lot of different opportunities that are out there. Um, and this course will enable you to learn the best practices and the best ways to go forward and setting up and being successful in your business. That is why we created this wellness business micro-credential. And because it has so much information, we've broken it into six courses. You should take this micro-credential because its content is tailored specifically to wellness business operations. You don't necessarily find that in other types of courses because they're more broad. This one will specifically have examples related to wellness businesses. The material is presented in short, easy to follow lessons that can fit with your schedule. There are short videos, there are short activities, the presenters of those uh, information and the videos are experts in their field, and they'll allow you to develop skills that will fill an important gap in the wellness industry. The industry is growing and you can fit in and be a part of it. So the courses that we've come up with and that are gonna be in this program are gonna be released starting with this first one that we're gonna talk about today, creating your business model. Um, the next one after that is forming your wellness business, followed by wellness business financial essentials, wellness business HR essentials, wellness business product essentials, and wellness business marketing essentials. And we're going to be releasing them a month apart. So we'll be doing follow-up webinars, talking about the details of those courses. Today, we're going to be talking about the creating your business model course. So there are a lot of benefits in taking this program. One is gaining practical knowledge and starting and growing your wellness business. It'll allow you to equip yourself with the essential tools, resources, and strategies for a successful business. Along the way, you'll earn certificates for each of the courses that you'll be taking, and those can be used for professional development uh, credit and for your credentials. In addition, you'll receive a digital badge for each of the individual courses, as well as an overall micro-credential badge. And those can be used on social media. You can put them on your business website and on your curriculum vit vita for your professional uh, credibility and to enhance that. So we're gonna take a look at the first course. Uh, were we able to get Jimmy on here? We're still working on it. We're trying it a different route. Okay, so I'm going to go and continue on here about our wellness business operations specialist first course, which is creating your business model. So in, in this course, it has four modules. The first module is on determining offerings, clients, and needs, which is an important place to start. If you don't know what you're going to be offering or what your clients' needs are, it's hard to plan a business. That first course will take you through all the things that you need to consider when you're looking at what your clients are going to be. What should you be offering? The second module identifies the offerings that you're going to have based on the information you found in the first module. And you'll better be able to understand your customers and what marketing needs you're going to have. Then in the third module, there's planning the market strategy. Once you decide what you're offering, you wanna get that out there. What's the best way to market? So you have to plan on what the marketing, what are your options? That'll be covered in module three. Module four takes you to fully developing a, what we call business model canvas. And this is how you're going to be getting your business launched. It has a lot of different components. Those are all explained and we have some activities in that module where you actually can get a template for a business model canvas. We have examples of business model canvases so that you can see all the parts that play in launching a business. So in our first module, just kind of give you a, another overview. The uh, first module there, you're gonna learn how to identify that customer base and it'll allow you to conceptualize, conceptualize your offerings. 
When you're understanding your business customers, you're going to learn how to assess that market need. We'll show you the strategies for that and how to plan your business strategies moving forward. Also planning the marketing strategy. What is that market research that you need to do in order to be able to plan effective marketing for your business launch? If you're going to be expanding your business, what is entailed in that? When you develop your business model canvas plan, that'll show you how to do a comprehensive plan. So again, I was talking about, there's a lot of things that come into play. This um, The uh, template that we share with you has all those components and shows you examples of what that is and what it means in your wellness business. Lori, yes. if I could add one thing, I just wanted to uh, share something. I know uh, Jimmy has not been able to join us yet, um, but if we go back to the previous slide, um, for those of you who are uh, students, you you may have had the pleasure of studying with uh, with Dr. Goddard in the business courses. Um, he has an absolutely infectious passion for uh, for business, for helping communities, for networking. He is a phenomenal networker. And you know, one of the things I really value in not just Jimmy's teaching, but in the conversations that we have at, at ACHS is his ability to really distill the questions to ask so that you can develop you know, a clear customer base, um, you know, really get to the heart of your intent with your business. You know, we, we talk about that related to things like even, you know, updating a course, you know, he really helps students develop and, and in working with other faculty, develop a clear vision. And I think that's valuable when you're starting a business and even when you're maintaining a business, having a, a clear strategy, knowing where you're going and why you're going there is critical. So I just wanted to share that because I think that, uh, you know, all of us probably read a lot online. We follow publications. Um, we work with industry organizations and we're inundated with, with information every day. So one of the values of the practical approach to this course is really helping you kind of hear through the noise and distill what your main goals are going to be. So I just wanted to share a little bit more about that approach within the curriculum. I think Jimmy is here, at least in voice. I see his- um, Hello, there can he you is. guys hear me? Yes. Yes, hello. Awesome. I don't know why my, uh, my video is not working, but I'd rather have voice and video for now, right? Oh, it's great. Yeah, would you like to talk about more? We were giving them an overview of the four modules, but since you developed this content, we thought maybe you could share some more insight about the exciting things the students are gonna learn within these four modules of the first course? Oh yes, I'm very excited about this one because uh, as uh, we mentioned, the thing about business and entrepreneurship, it is uh, it is as not as clear cut and there's gonna be a lot of trials and errors. And I put this module together by following more of a, what I will say, the trial and error pretty much bring the scholarship as far as research uh, is concerned and also the practice, meaning what we do on the streets. So you're going to have the book version and you're going to have the reality version. And I even included an a interview that I, uh, that I had with a practitioner, with somebody that is in the business of, the, of wellness and asking them questions so they can provide you with some great insights on what being a business owner is all about. So the different modules that we have here, you have determining your offerings, clients and needs. As I, as I coach and uh, talk with entrepreneurs, the theme that is very constant is why do you go in business? Most likely you have a product and I will ask you to remove that concept from your mind, but think of it, you have a solution. You have a solution to a problem somebody has out there. You don't have a product to sell. You have a solution to a problem. Once you have your solution, people out there will have the problem. The next step is how do you connect with these people? How do you bring your solution to the people who have the problems? Once you put that mindset, you don't, you don't really have to think about selling because there's nothing to sell. Because why? You're providing solution to a problem. 
That's how you're going to work and identify your customer base and conceptualize that offering. Also, you need to understand business. That is the bottom line. And that what does that mean, understand business? Business is not something that you just do. Business is something that you plan, that you follow, that you execute. And that will let you to understand your customers, meaning the people who understand, the people who have the problems for which you have the solution. And the magic between the two is to build a bridge. The bridge between your solution to the problem that they have. And that bridge is marketing. How do I find the niche of the people that have the problem to which I have the solution? And there's a little saying we say um, in our world of business is your, uh, your niches is your riches. <laughs> in other words, once you find your niche, most likely you will find riches there as well. So your niches are your riches. So think of it this way. And marketing, the challenge about marketing, people often think about going into Facebook, Instagram, X, and call it marketing. It is not marketing. Marketing is how you leverage research about the people who have the problems that you're trying to solve. Who, who, who are they? Where are they located? What pricing did they can afford? What they do for an occupation? And then you're going to have promotions, advertising, and sales, and all those things. And of course, Facebook, Instagram, those are the vehicle that you use to make sure you present your solution to the people who have the problems that you have. And to finish the module, I've also incorporated a business model canvas. This is, I would call it a business plan, a short version of a business plan, call it a placemat of a business plan, call it a one pager of a business plan. It really has all the ingredients that you need to get started. The challenge with business plan is the following. Business plan, they are a must. You must have a business plan. However, once you first, once you start your business, the first five years, there's a there's a lot in that business plan that you're not gonna know. There's there are a lot of research, a lot of work that you're gonna put forth. You're not gonna know those things. So the business model canvas pretty much boil it down to the essentials, what you need to know to get in business. The business plan is elemental. It's needed for you to get funding for you to show to investors and also for you to monitor how you're doing. Because think about it this way. Once you open your door, which is very easy, with $100, you can get a business name and you get the employer identification number, which those are the two things you need to start. But where are you going? And the business plan help you map that out, where you're going. So the business model canvas is not a replacement of a business plan, but it's, a, it's something you go a long way before you get to your business plan. All right. All right. So I'm going to go a little bit faster here. So pretty much what I just gave you is the main recap and foundation to get your business started. And every single module, I have spent quite a amount of time to make sure you get the gist and you get the thing that you need. What does that mean? You have all the lessons. I pretty much videotape all the lessons, the same. Hopefully I'm projecting enthusiasm here is the same thing you're going to get to those lessons. And in addition to that, with the lessons, I've incorporated research, uh, websites, and also PowerPoint slides to guide you through the process. Meaning, you don't really have to hear me talking too much. You can go to the slides. You can download the slides. And there is some reading. I always mention this and to my students and to either anybody that coach. You get what you put in. It is a basic phenomenon of nature. You know, you reap what you sow. If you put the work, you will get the results. So I give you enough information, direct information that will help you cut through all the ad unnecessary readings, if you will, but to get you straight to the point for you to establish, to understand what business is all about, to understand the solution that you have in your hand, and how do you put that solution into a structure to deliver it to the people who have the problems for which you want to solve? So you have the lessons, you have outcomes, and you have the support materials. And at this point, Laurie, I think, is that where we press 
Yeah, yeah, this is fine. No, this is this is just a, a example of the videos and the lecture slides that there are. And then there's also at the end of each of these modules um, some activities, um, some fun things like crossword puzzles and dragging words around. There's a glossary of all the terms that you're learning about, as well as a test your knowledge at the end to make sure that you are getting all of the information and understanding it. And those are things that um, aren't like part of a grade, but they're something that you can continue on with um, in order to, to know what you know, and you can take them multiple times and that will help you uh, make sure that you know everything. Yeah, and I'll add to this one real quick, um, Lori. I will. I have been doing this for a long time, and I will give you a little secret that many people may not share with you. This is not a journey that you can do alone. Of all successful entrepreneurs that I've talked to, I have not met one so far who has expressed to me they have gotten to where they are by doing this alone, meaning whichever areas that you've selected to go in business, find a group, find the group that supports your business. As you go into the school, feel free to reach out even to me, to any other teacher to ask questions. You have to have an inquisitive mind. You cannot think no matter how much reading you do, no matter how much research you do, there is an element of doing it. We will show you how to do it. We will show you, I'm sorry, we will show you what to do. We cannot show you how to do it. You're going to have to, I would say, climb the stairs to the Empire State Building. Do not take the elevator because the higher you go in business, the more pressure you get. You're going to wear several hats. You'll be the CEO. Congratulations. It only costs $100. You're, welcome. You're going to be the COO. Meaning, how do you operate this minute, this business on a day-to-day -day basis? You're going to be the chief information officer. Guess what? You're going to need to have a website. You're going to need to have some marketing sites that you have. You, you are wearing so many hats, and you're not going to be an expert in all of those. Focus on the problems that the people have so you can provide the solution to it. And surround yourself with talent, with people that do those things for a living, do not be shy about spending the money to ask for help. Get a good accountant, get a good lawyer, get a good software to manage your to manage the, the financials for your business. And this is a weak spot, the bookkeeping. Many people think, I have an LLC, it's okay, I, have, I can use my credit card. Please, don't do that. As soon as you have your EIN, open a bank account, separate your, don't get your business, get in your personal business. That's all I'm saying. Great. Well, we're going to move on now to some frequently asked questions that you might have had, and we'll also have an opportunity if you want to ask questions to do that as well. So one of the things you might have been thinking about, well, what is the cost of our micro-credential? So the complete micro-credential of all the courses, the six of them, is $6.99. Or if you find that you want to take one or two of the courses because it's more relevant to you, those are $1.29 each. We are going to be sharing with you a code that you can use to get 50% off these at the end of the, the, the slide set here. But we felt that was one of the important things students were thinking about. And what you were uh, might be thinking about, well, what do these badges look like? So we have up here what the overall badge will look like, as well as the individual one from the first course. So you'll get a strategic planning badge for that. And these are the things that you can put on along, like in an email with your signature, you can put them on um, Instagram, Facebook, you can put them on LinkedIn. Uh, you will also, when you finish the course, get a uh, certificate that you can print. Um, if you are doing this for some sort of um, continuing education, that's proof of taking a course. Um, and again, when you finish all the six courses, you'll have your six individual badges, as well as the overall uh, wellness business operations specialist badge. You might want to ask, how long do I have to take each course? Well, the courses are self-paced, so it's easy to do on your own schedule. And once you've purchased them, you will have a lifetime access to those courses. So you can go back in um, if you decided to take a new venture in business and review that material. Um, I think at this point, we, we can um, see if there's any open questions that others want to ask about it. Um, I think there's something in chat here. It says, when we take these classes, is there an opportunity to ask questions and receive a bit of mentorship to help us guide us, is what the question is. 
Um, I think I can answer. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lori. No, you're good. I can answer that. So uh, we do have a LinkedIn group that is specific to students in this micro-credential so that we can share information, have discussion, and provide additional mentorship. Um, we, In some of our other micro-credentials, we use Facebook, but with the professional nature of this uh, micro-credential, just in case you've taken others with us, um, we're using LinkedIn for that discussion group. And that way we can also share resources from within the LinkedIn community. Um, for those of you, just a little side note, and Jimmy may have thoughts on this as well, um, but for those of you who are not yet um, active in LinkedIn, I can tell you it is a phenomenal resource. I use it every single day. I network with colleagues. Uh, I make new connections. I follow industry organizations that post insights almost daily. Um, one of the uh, organizations that uh, Jimmy and Lori have shared some data from, the Global Wellness Institute, is another organization that's uh, wonderful to follow um, and a great resource in the early stages and the ongoing stages of your business. Um, they provide great insights in what's happening in the global wellness market. So um, just a little tidbit there. Great, are there other questions? You could post them in the webinar chat. I also uh, want to say, uh, Jimmy, I'm so glad you were able to join. I learn something every time we connect. So even in this webinar, I especially loved your two of your quotes. One is, uh, congratulations for $100, you can be CEO. If you only uh, you know, knew all that's involved, you, know, you learn quickly. And um, the other thing I thought was really impactful that you said is, you know, a business is not just something you have, I'm paraphrasing here, but it's something you plan, you execute, you know, you're working it every day, um, you're making those connections, thinking about your vision, keeping your strategy at the forefront. So uh, that was uh, uh, powerful. Okay, we have another question that says, would this perhaps replace the business classes, referring to ACHS undergraduate business classes, or maybe the graduate ones? It says, I'm in my last year, and I could potentially take other electives instead of business courses. Um, it in terms of credit, you would not receive college credit for taking the micro-credential. If your interest is in getting the business started, that would be an excellent thing to do. At our undergraduate level, we do have three business courses. One of them is specifically an intro to, to business. Then there's uh, business communication and marketing. And then we have kind of a combination of those three classes at our graduate level, which is our business 522 course um, that a lot of um, graduate students would take. Um, so it's more of a complement and more to get you on the ground running with your business if you take the micro-credential. So you wouldn't get credit for it, um, but if that's your, if you are able to take other courses that you're more interested in, and you were trying to also start a business, it would not get you credit, but it would be a good way to go, I think is the best answer to that. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay, so let's move on to our next steps here. Uh, if you want to register for the Wellness Business Operation Micro-Credential, um, let me see if we can get this link here to go um, ah, to that page. I, I went, I'll pass the page. Can I, one of you guys post that uh, link right to the thing in, the, um, in our chat here. We do have the introductory, um, the code here for the introductory price of 50% if you've attended this webinar today. And we also have a friends and family share code for 30% off on the screen here. And these are valid through the end of the month, April 30th. Okay, and we've shared the link in the chat that takes you directly to the page for the micro-credential. And I'll leave this up here just uh, another minute or two. Uh, we do have um, um, people available to help you. Um, these are all of our advisors in terms of getting admissions and they're grateful to talk to you, whether you have questions about this micro-credential or any of our other programs here at ACHS. Um, after the uh, video recording is available, it will be sent to those of you that have attended today. So this information, um, you can go back through the video if you need to get this information. 
Do you have anything else, Tracy, that you'd like to add? Uh, I don't think so related to that. Uh, I might, Jimmy, ask if I can put you on the spot for a moment um, as we wrap up and we'll keep an eye out for any additional questions. Um, is there any one thing for you in your journey uh, that has been most impactful in, you know, your entrepreneurship? Um, you know, and I know you're, you participate in a lot of organizations that you've helped grow. Is the if we take away one thing, is, is there any tidbit you can leave us with? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, you put me <laughs> on the spot here because my, my head starts spinning. Uh, here's what I would say. Uh, so I cannot give you one thing, but I let me try three. Let me give you at least a stool with three legs, okay? I can try a stool. Uh, the first one I would say, oh my goodness. So the first one I will say is the, the 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 thing that I mentioned about having the solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. If you have a solution to a problem, you have a business idea. That is that is fundamental. So if you have something, <laughs> but it's nobody doesn't solve anybody's problem, you may have a hobby. But if you have the solution to a problem, then you have a business. Second. You must have a vision. And the vision is where you are going with it. Otherwise, what you have, it's a, so the first one was you just have a hobby. When you have a, you know, if you, something is bothering, you just find it, you know, try to solve it. But once you have a, the solution to a problem, you have a business idea. But if you just stay there, you're not going to have much movement. You need now to develop a vision where you're going to be in the next three, five, seven and then that's what's going to get the business going. And what that helps as well is people will join you because who you are is going to be who you will attract in your business. As you grow, as you have a vision, people who are visionary is not going to join somebody who do not have a vision for the business. Okay. So that's going to be, so that's what's going, so that's what it's going to be. So first, make sure you have a solution to a problem. Second, have a vision. And third, Oh my goodness, you must have, uh, you must learn. With, I will tell you this much, with the te technology moving so fast, you cannot afford to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. So have the solution to a problem, create a vision, and have this mindset of continuous learning. And again, okay, number four, find a mentor. <laughs> the stool is not simple without number four. Find a mentor. As I said, you cannot do this alone. If you think you're going to do it alone, you will go. You may go fast. You may go fast and have great success, but you're not going to be able to go far because I have not seen anybody make it far to alone. So have a vision. Make sure you get a solution to a, uh, to a, uh, to a problem. Have that mindset of knowledge of learning, continuous learning, and get yourself a, get yourself a mentor. And then I'm looking forward to seeing you on Shark Tank. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Uh, really appreciate you presenting and uh, and Lori. And thank you everyone who's been joining us and asking really great questions. Um, I'm especially excited to hear that and this is going to be valuable. A lot of student and graduate input went into creating this. Um, as well as you know what we're seeing in the industry and in talking with our professional organizations like um, the National Association of Nutrition Professionals and the American Herbalist Guild about where uh, practitioners sometimes have a gap in their skills. They're experts in their subject matter. Um, but when it comes to the business essentials, that's where there can sometimes be a gap. So um, we're really looking forward to collaborating with you. Um, I'd love for all of you to come connect with me on LinkedIn, connect with Jimmy, Lori, we're all there um, just as a first step. In fact, that's your homework uh, uh, from this webinar. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, I don't know if any of our panelists have anything else to add, but as a reminder, we will be sending an email um, later today with the link to the recording as well as the codes and um, also a link to the micro credentials so that you have that. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us. 
in that email, um, and we'll be happy to answer them as they come in. But have, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, wherever you're tuning in from, and have a great rest of the week. <laughs> Pleasure to see everyone. Bye, everybody.